Hello and welcome back. I'm Andy Brown. I'm the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate here in Orlando, Florida. The Climber School of Real Estate, we like to think of ourselves the best real estate license school in all of Florida. We feel like we prepare our students to pass the state exam, hopefully on their first try, pretty much better than anybody else. Helping you pass your state exam is so important to us. We have so many tools and resources dedicated to help you pass the state exam, including on our website, climberrealestateschool.com, we have a free practice exam, 100 questions, 10 math questions at the end. I've just put on another free practice exam, only this one is 10 math questions. I'm going to put a whole bunch of 10 math question practice exams, and every single question, I'm going to give you a YouTube video to show you exactly how to do it, so that you can pass your state of Florida real estate exam and get your license, hopefully go make some money. This one is number one on the new math question exam number one. So let me read it to you. A parcel contains 38 acres. 20% of the land must be set aside for the common areas and parks. Another 500 by 30 feet is marked for streets. Each lot will be at least 9,000 square feet. How many lots can the developer create to sell? You're going to get a question like this on the state exam. Now, you may have heard of the bin problem. The bin problem is exactly like this, only it's four floors. You're going to get one or the other. I'm going to show you how to do both, but this one's a lot problem. So the first thing we do, I teach my students all these math word problems. You have to create a nice, organized, concise list of the information. Pull the math out from the wordy nonsense. Last but not least, make sure you know what the question's asking you and write it down. Too much is at stake. So let's take a look. We have 38 lots, 38 acres. 20% of those 38 acres is set aside for parks and common areas. That's pretty standard in real life. There's a street 500 feet by 30 feet, which means you can't build on it. Every single lot is at least 9,000 square feet, so after you Figure out how much you have, you take away what you can't use, divide by the lots, how many lots do you have? So, tell you what, let's work it out together. All right, first, you have to remember 43,560 square feet in a lot. I'm going to multiply. 38 lots times 43,560 square feet in a lot. One of my instructors says, four little old ladies doing 35 and a 60. Any way you can remember it, you have to remember it. That number is, would you believe 1,655,280 square feet? 1,655,280 square feet. Now remember, that's in 38 acres. We can't use the 20% for parks, so how much is 20%? Let's take a look. 20%, turn that into a decimal, 0 0.20, times 1,655,280 is 1,324,000, well, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. 20% is 331,056. Let's try that again. 331 and 56 square feet that can't be used. So now I'm going to subtract. I started with 1,655,280 square feet. I'm going to subtract what I can't use because of the parks. And that leaves me with now 1 million. 324,224 square feet. 1,324,224 square feet. Well, guess what? I've got a road I can't use. The road is 500 feet by 30 feet. So that means there's another 15,000 square feet I can't use. Now I've got to subtract the street I can't use from
from what's left. So let's see. 1,324,224 square feet that I can uh, work with minus 15,000 square feet that I can't use is how about 1,309,224 square feet? 1,309,224 square feet. Every single lot is 9,000 square feet, so I'm going to divide. Divide it by 9,000 square feet per lot. If you put that in your calculator, that gives you 145.47 lots, which means the answer on the state exam would be 145 lots. One of the things I've found with real estate math, it's not so much the math. Math is plus, minus, multiply, and divide. The trick is getting comfortable with the way that the numbers play with each other, the way they dance with each other, the way they work together. This is how you do the lot problem. Next, I'm going to do the bin problem. They're almost exactly the same. I guarantee you're going to get one of them on the state exam. Why don't you get on the website or call the school, sign up for my famous two-day state exam sales review, the CRAM course. Best one in the entire state of Florida, and for a small fee, we give it twice a month, and you can come as much as you want for six months at the Climber School of Real Estate. We just want you to pass your state exam, and good luck.